everyone, Nikki here. Welcome to video three. Uh, this video is on polarity. I'm just an electrical apprentice, probably just like you, only I've done the capstone exam, but I made this fault fine board uh, to help me get through the capstone. I thought I'd make a video to help you guys get through it too. Okay, so we're on polarity. A couple of tricks to know, you know, um, it pays to make sure your polarity is actually correct coming into your board, okay? So you, you consume the mains, number one. Make sure the polarity is correct and it has no short circuit. Okay, so that's the first thing that we're gonna do. Test your tester, test it on like uh, three ohms and your 20 ohm scale. Make sure you've got a uh, good reading, zero them out, and test your consumer mains. Now on this one, it's actually plugged in, you know, so it, it's easy to sort of check it from here, okay? I'm going to go my earth to my earth. Put your beeper on if you need it. Makes it easier. Beep. Oh, jeez. The joys. Neutral. Okay, you can unplug that out if you need be. Make sure you've got good contacts on whatever you're working with. Active. Got polarity. Now I'm going to check for a short circuit. No beep and OL. So I don't have a short circuit and my polarity on my consumer mains are all sweet. Okay, so how I test is with the resistance testers, okay? Now I made these in my first year. They're pretty cool. Um, only they've worn a little bit and when I tried to use them um, a couple of weeks ago, I actually broke one of the resistors. So I had to replace it. So my, ver my values have changed. I've got a 3 ohm resistor in there and a 10 ohm resistor. So I've got 3 ohm, 10 ohm and 13 for my uh, combinations, okay? Uh, which is still fine, it still works. It's just that that's all I had. You know, I couldn't find a 5 ohm here. I wasn't gonna go buying one just for, you know, just for my, my test leads. Okay, so what do we need to do uh, to, to do this? We've got to make sure our MEN's out, okay? And what I like to do is create a little bridge with my actives. And this is a great idea because uh, you can just go through, sail through all your actives and neutrals as you uh, and all your polarity on everything as you go. And you can also determine what circuit um, you're working on too. It makes it so much easier. So make a little bridge. Um, make it before you go. Uh, make three just in, just in case because Jeff, I've got a bridge on this one but not all of them will so um, you know I only need to have the two loops here but make your bridge And that way, when you pop your resistors leads in, you can go neutral and neutral. Make sure you've got a good grabby bit. Earth to earth. And then you active to your active and just get it on that, get the claw on the end of that bridge that you made, right? So now, everywhere where I test, as long as I've got my switch on, okay, I need my main switch on, okay, and I need my circuit breakers on, Anywhere that I test, I'm going to get my values between A and N here. I should get 13.1 ohms, earth to A, 10.1, earth to neutral, 3. Now, that's going to be different for your hot water system and anything, your resistive surfaces, um, your resistive circuit. So, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. Okay, so test your tester, zero it out. Making sure you get zero. Helps if you have it on the right setting too. Okay? 
All right, so she's sweet. I'm gonna go active two, uh, all right. And I should get 10.1, she's climbing down. I've got 10.3, I'm gonna switch it off. Yep, she's off. So she's switching the active. Now I'm gonna check what power circuit I'm on. There we go, I'm on this middle one. Perfect, I like to know these things. This is the best way of doing it. All right, you know your earth is good. Use it as a reference, okay? You only need to go active to earth, neutral to earth. I've got 3.1, she's sweet. She's in the right spot, okay? So you continue that around exactly the same for each of those um, power points. You only need to do one of the, the, the doubles though, okay? They're integrated, they haven't tricked you. All right, three phase switch. Make sure it's turned on. Go from alive to your earth. All right. Got 10.1, switched it off. I now have no reading. I've got no continuity. That means that it's switching off, okay? All right, so she's good. Now, later on, you're gonna be doing phase sequencing. Okay, and this is where it gets really interesting because I know that this is not wired the way it's supposed to be wired. I've still got that reading. I still know that the uh, live was being switched off. So you would test that for every single one. Okay. Do it again. Alright, but if I go uh, from this uh, circuit breaker and test from red to red, I haven't got anything. Okay, so I've gone red to red, I've got a reading, white to white. And then blue to blue. I've got nothing. But if I go here. Oh, well, that's just making me a liar because that was actually wrong before. Um, these were actually twisted around. So God only knows what's happening here. Let me try it again. Okay, and this is what it's about. It's just testing it and knowing and trying to understand what's actually going on. Okay, so if I turn that main switch off, go red to red, I've got nothing there. Red to white, got nothing. I go red to blue, look at this, I've got a reading. Okay, if I go to the middle, which should be my white, I've gone to my blue here, and my middle, L2, I've got nothing. I go to L2 here, I've got a reading, so it's connected. Go there, I've got nothing, that's how it's supposed to be. I go to the third one, which is L3. Okay, I go to L3, I've got nothing here. Okay, I go to L2, nothing. I go to L1, I've got a reading. So I know in actual fact that my polarity for that was switched around. So I didn't use the resistance uh, readings for that. Uh, I just went individually A to A, N to N, E to E. Uh, okay, but, but not E to E on that occasion. Okay, so you do your same for your sub main. Okay. Earth to active, Earth to neutral, make sure this is turned on, will help, okay, okay, 10.1, going down to 13, And then I've got three. So I know that that's fine and that's been connected fine. Okay. All right. So that's basically individual circuits. Okay. For your power. Okay. We've done the sub mains. Now we can do the light. Now with the lights, really good trick. Just pull the covers off. Okay. Eh? It's going to mean that you've got access to those terminals at the back, okay? And you can determine then which one's active and which one's neutral and switch it from there, okay? So you should have your earth pin at the back. All right, and I like to go from the top here 
at the moment I've got one, two, climbing up to 3.3. .3. Okay, so I know that if I get three ohms, that's my earth to my neutral. And this must be my earth to my active. Okay, so I've got 10 there. Hold it in. Check your light switch. Make sure your light switch is actually switching the um, active off. Okay, which it was doing. I can now check my circuit breakers. Okay. Had a reading, there you go, bingo number one. That light is on that circuit breaker and that switch is operating it, okay? And you can go through and check, you know, they've got all these other light switches here with different combos, you know, to try and trick you out. You can use these and see if anything's, any changes to work out what actual switches are operating on that active, okay? That's a really good way of working out what switches what yeah um but i don't your capstone exam is not going to be that hard okay I, I i really don't think that they're, they're not there to try and trick you they just want you to see that you know how to get polarity now you same with your ovens and your hot water checking between your earth to your neutral Earth to active. Alright, so I've got my reading. I'm turning my oven on. Because my oven was off. Making sure I've got a reading. Switching it off. Yeah, and now what you can do as well. Uh, with the ovens, if I'm going to go from active to neutral. I'm really not going to be looking at my resistance reading on here because it's a resistive circuit, okay? So to work out what the resistance is, you need to multiply um, the voltage and divide it by the, um, the power, yeah? And that will give you your resistance values, okay? So V squared divided by P, and you'll do the same for your active and your neutral on your hot water as well, okay? And that will give you an indicator of what your resistance is supposed to be. But it's exactly the same process, active to neutral, uh, earth to uh, neutral, okay? Earth to active. Making sure your switch is working. And then checking your uh, switch on here as well. So I've got OLs definitely being isolated and that was switched off. Okay. And that is polarity. Okay. You can move your simmer around. Make sure that's um, turning on and off. And you will see a little bit of resistance changes there. But basically, that's polarity. You're just checking A to um, active to earth, earth to neutral, and um, measuring your differences, okay? So, um, yeah, V squared divided by P. I'm just thinking a 4.8 kilowatt system, you're looking at about 11 uh, ohms, um, you know, for an oven. If you had a 2.0 you know, kilowatt system, you're looking at about 26, you know, ohms uh, resistant. So, good luck. That's polarity. Um, that's all you really need to know. It's just making sure you don't have any short circuits in your consumer mains and make sure you've actually done your polarity check on your consumer mains before you start bridging out things and doing it that way. But that's the best way i found to do it. It's pretty easy. Um, if you're not sure... Uh, always go A to A and to N. So write down any uh, variables that come up. And you know, if you if you're doing something you're like, hang on a minute, um, my A and N didn't get the right reading here. Uh, no, my earth and my neutral. Write it down. It doesn't always mean that you'll actually have the polarity issue there. Sometimes it can actually be an interconnected neutral. So make the note. It may not be a fault. Just wait until you finish it and then you can sort of work out uh, later. Like when you pull this all out, go actual neutral to neutral to go, okay, I don't have, um, you know, an actual polarity problem there. My, ne my neutral is going to my neutral 
and then when you get down to your interconnected um, neutrals you can sort of you've got a note there you've made a note that you've got something come up yeah all right if there's any comments comment below like and um, I'll see you on the next video bye